Yatra, in the, in the fo footsteps of our teacher, Yogi Bhajan, um, were here really going um, the paces of uh, Yatras that he took people um, in his lifetime were going through this same journey. And so it's a very much a um, kind of a nod to our lineage and a nod to the work that Yogi Bhajan tirelessly did. I want to read you something that um, he said at Ladies Camp um, in 1978, I believe, and it was before he brought the first group of pilgrims to India. Um, and he was talking about the first yatra that he wanted to take everybody on. Um, and he said, you know, I, I would really like to take a group of, of uh, spiritual seekers to India. And he was funny about it, you know, a group of people who actually like me. Um, <laughs> I'd like to take them to India um, and go on this yatra. And uh, then he asked, you know, who would like to come? And everybody raised their hands. And he's like, Jesus Christ, superstar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, and then he tells them, you know, like, well, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna cost this much, and um, you can't take a loan out. No, you have to, you uh, you have to pay it yourself. This is a spiritual journey. You have to, you know, he goes through this whole thing with them, um, and this is what he says about the golden temple. He says, basically, it took me four and a half years to wash the marble floors of the Golden Temple to a voluntary effort with the grace of God. It is the mopping of the clothes of the Golden Temple which marked out all of the dirt out of me. It was nothing else. I could not shine without that rub. Whosoever shall belong to the order of the Khalsa, the order of the divinity of the lion, that is the Leo, which is the master of all beasts, it only represents the word sing. It means when you conquer the beast in you. And that cub shall never be raised to maturity, and so you become the radiance of a full lion. Without rubbing the marble floors of the golden temple, it is my experience, and I shall like to share it with you. That is why you must see that the children you know, go to the golden temple, and the ladies camp, we need to you know, go to the golden temple. Um, India is the nucleus of the spiritual powerful center where heavens and earth meet to bring harmony. Golden Temple is only two places, not at one place. So he starts to talk about how the Golden Temple exists in multiple dimensions. So he says, it's on earth in the city of Amritsar, because the guru sang the praise, but also, it's beyond the planet Earth. In all places, known and unknown, I have not seen anything like this. So are you ready to take a trip to the Golden Temple? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll think about it and we'll intend to go. So he starts to you know, talk about it. He says, Yatra is a very different situation. Yatra is a holy journey, which we must go into the center, the heart center, we must go inside as well as outside. We should go on the yatra. Yatra is motivated devotional movement of life towards the aim of one goal, and in the, this, it is God. So those who want to go with me once in my lifetime, I want to go. I want to go to the Golden Temple with people whom I can trust. It will be true, whatever has to be done only, and then we'll run around and do some shopping. <laughs> I'm just, I swear, <laughs> I'm just reading you know, the quote. <laughs> so I'd just like to read that one more time because I want you to get these, I want you to get what we're doing here because it's very, very important. So Yatra is a motivated devotional movement of life towards, towards the aim of one goal and in this movement, it is God itself. He's saying the yatra is a motivated devotional movement of the expression of God itself. So those who want, you know, so then he goes on to say, then we'll go shopping. Okay, so that's what we're on. That's what we're embarking on. We have some people joining us tomorrow. It's a circus. It's a big group. We're, we're going to have some fun. There's, you know, there's children and all of our inner childs that are going to come out. Um, and maybe already have, so welcome. Um, so, you know, the, the thing that, that happens, we have two people with a visa issue, you know, the thing that happens on these is we're coming into a big energy field 
And this place, just like places like Glastonbury and all the places we go to, exists in multiple dimensions. So the Golden Temple is this kind of uh, pituitary gland of the planet Earth. It exists in this city, Amritsar, but it also exists in multiple dimensions, which Guru Nanak laid out in his revelation of enlightenment called Japji. He said 84 holy places on the planet Earth, but all of those holy places exist inside of us. And that's the journey that you are going on. And some of you will be taking that sound current and running it through you in a way that um, is so deep that you will never be the same again. So, and those of us who are here to support, we have to understand this is a, you didn't come here by accident. If you're not gonna be doing Japji on the steps and you're doing Mo Mantra or you're not doing, you're not doing any of it, you're here in a very specific way to support the liberation of a mass amount of karma. Each and every one of you who are doing the steps tomorrow, 15 generations of all the epigenetics, all the karmic patterns, all the genocides, all of the terror, all of the violence, everything that has gone and now into the seven generations before uh, the seven generations ahead of us, we're liberating so that they don't have to recapitulate the same thing over and over again, which is what we call human history but we have to change that now, and that's why we're here. And we're here during a very, very important time. And there is, you know, I take it very seriously that each and every one of you who's starting those steps tomorrow will finish, whether it's with us holding you up or however, we're gonna get you up those st steps. So just so you know, you have our, you know, total and complete support. This is what this is all about. And if you're here not to do the steps, I'm asking you to be in service to the people who are doing these steps because you will receive a lot of energy and a lot of a tremendous amount of liberation yourself by being in service. And you, uh, some of you may have this experience tomorrow. I was actually talking to some Sikhs who are here and telling them what we're doing and they're all just blown away because on the steps themselves, you may have the experience that the, the aunties and the, the uncles and the people, the townspeople who come and the people who are there on pilgrimage to come in and, and uh, kind of um, receive the blessings of such a devotional place as, in, as go and dwell, um, they recognize what you're doing when you're on the steps and they will come and, you know, kiss your feet and, and you know, the, the, it's, it's a very powerful thing that, that you're about to do. And so in that, your fatigue, your travel weary, your negative mind, your bullshit, you got to get really disciplined about it because the last thing we need when we're headed into this kind of very important work that we're doing, not just for ourselves, but for everyone, is your un, you know, managed negativity and your unmanaged you know, kind of family constellation. You don't want to, whatever your kind of stuff that comes up when you come into a group, you just got to get real with yourself and cut that because I need you here in positivity, in radiance, as a Khalsa, as a seeker, as a yogi, to be here to really do what we came here to do. And then we can go shopping. So... <laughs> But, you know, I'm kind of not kidding, but, but you know what I mean, right, Phoenix? And so we, we have a lot to do, and one of the reasons why we're just going on to those steps tomorrow night is everyone's anxious about it, everyone's nervous, everyone's, you know, maybe you're not, but they're, they're you know, you, we, we don't know what for, you don't know until you know, um, and that's just the way it is, and so we're, we just want to get it done. So we'll, we'll get there and just kind of get it done, and before you know it, it'll be done, and we'll be on our way to uh, the next part of the adventure. So, um... I'm just asking you in the next 24 hours to really take care of yourself. Um, this is what this time is about. So if you're not doing the steps and you'd like to engage deeper in being in devotion to those who are here bravely to uh, do something that very small amount of people on the planet make the commitment to do. You are now entering into a very small elite group of humans that have done this um, as an act of liberation on the planet. And this is a, you know, this is a very, very, very powerful choice you've made. So those of you who are here to um, just, you know, have fun and be on the Yatra, I would really ask you, and you can go to our uh, support staff, how you want to engage in this, because we are asking for your support and you will receive a lot from that. 
that. So um, that's the that's one thing. And then we'll have the people who are doing the Momantra, um, and you guys will also uh, will ask of you to be in support, depending on the kind of shape you're in afterwards. You should be fine. But you know, you think about even the Momantra is about as long as a, a marathon is. So a regular marathon people run in about four and a half, five hours. So more mantras, you, you know, some of you will do in three, but somewhere around that same amount. So I'm just saying everyone is like really is is really doing something profound. And so um, just asking as a group energetically for us all to be in service to that. And one way, the biggest way you can be in service to that is to take care of yourself in the next 24 hours, take care of your needs, take care of your jet lag, take care of your fatigue and just put your big boy and girl pants on so that you can be an adult spiritually and otherwise to help others because that's what we're here for. All right, so, and those of you who are on the steps, we're gonna be there for you. You guys just need to rest and carb load. Mm -hmm. Rest and carb load. You're getting ready, it's four times, some of you will do four times or five times what a regular marathon is. It's a super marathon, you know those people who run 100 miles? That's basically what you're, what you're doing. And so, and you're gonna do, you're gonna do wonderfully, but you, the, the next 24 hours, just like you're getting ready for a marathon, like a, 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 an elite athlete, and I've been talking a lot about this in New York, elite athletes have a very specific mindset. It's, it's game time. It's mental, it's emotional, it's physical. It's game time, and there is no room for negativity. You have to see yourself at the top of those steps, game time. So just get your mind and your body and your everything in alignment with what you're about to do. Um, that's what your, your job is. People who are doing well, mantra, you know, get your get your same thing, get your ducks in order, get rest, get take care of yourself. And those of you who are not, find out how you can serve because that's what you're here to do. So, and there's no accident that this group of people came together. There's, I'd like some prayers for the, the two who are trying to get into the country. They're meant to be here. So let's put some prayers out there for them. Um, Jessica, right? Mm -hmm. Jessica and Joe Becker. Joe Becker needs a lot of prayers. So just put some prayers out for Joe Becker. So, um, that's, that's that we're, we're in game time. So that's what you want to be thinking about. So, that being said, um, there are some rules of engagement and some things that we just kind of practicals we want to go over, but that's like the gist of it. And once we get through that, then we'll talk about some of the rest of the things that are happening. But this is like, this is what's on the, on the plate right now. Um, we will be going out to go into all at what time tomorrow? 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? Because we think there's going to be traffic. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what I would like to do is I'd like a little. Um, we'll we'll let you know. If, uh, we'll we'll let you know in your WhatsApp groups. And if you haven't joined your WhatsApp group, just download WhatsApp and join the group because it's very helpful for us all to be able to communicate. So, and if you need help with that, Shabapri and Hudman Jot are here to support you. So we'll let you know what time we're going to get together tomorrow to basically just quickly do a group prayer together. I'd like to do that. I think it'll unify the field. Even though the men are on one side and the women are on the other side, you the group will get you up together. And uh, the people that you end up on the steps with are the pe people, siblings of destiny. That's all I can say. Mundave and I spent the whole 18 hours together, and it, we intrinsically, you know, are... I mean, I don't even know. There's not words for it. So the people that you end up on the steps together with, there is a reason, and you will be helping each other, and the, there's a pacing that starts to happen, and the whole thing. So it's just, it's just a miracle. It's a miracle about what's about to happen, and I'm so excited. So I really want to encourage you. You guys are yogis, and so whatever kind of film of your travel or your negative mind or your fears or your anxiety. It's your job as an adult, a spiritual adult, has nothing to do with your chronology, to get yourself right. Because you're an elite athlete, you're an elite yogi, and you got, it's game time. Okay? Good? Yeah? yeah? All right. So, um, but it's very exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, this is just unbelievable what's about to happen. It's, um, it's just, un and we are all going to be just as Guru Nanak said in the last line of his revelation, Japji, his enlightenment, when one person turns towards the, the power of the vibration of elevation, legions of souls are lifted 
legions of souls are lifted. You have no idea what's going to happen with your commitment and your devotion to um, practice or to be in this group energy. It's really, it's unbelievable. It really is unimaginable. And I was telling um, this story that I I didn't tell my mom what was going on because I don't like to, you know, it's like, what am I going to be like? I'm in Pakistan, like running on marble steps. Like, I mean, you know, you're like, you don't tell the mom. So I didn't tell my mom what was happening. She knew I was in India, but she, hi, welcome. Glad you're here. Um, so she, she emailed me while I was on the steps. She, you know, my mother has Parkinson's, some of you know that. She emailed me while I was on the steps. She said, I don't know what you're doing in India, but um, I haven't felt better for years. I'm just like, I woke up this morning feeling like I, and, and I mean, you know, I said, I didn't tell her anything of what was going on. So you'll have those types of tangible things happen as well as just untangible. I mean, you know, we, we, we've been chosen. That's what Khalsa means. You have chosen to be chosen to purify yourself so that you can have the crystalline consciousness of the Aquarian age. And that's what we're engaging in here. So I am just <coughs> inviting you to really step up into to your royalty and that is a decision and it's a commitment and it's going to uh, require some just uh, decisions on how you're going to behave and how what you're going to say and what you're going to do and what you're going to eat and what you're going how you're going to treat your body and elite athlete that's what I want you to be thinking okay and just in general, when you're going through India, I was talking to, you gotta, you have to know your kind of punch list. Like, what do you need? When we're in these types of environments, what do you need to make you in service to the group energy? So is that sleep? Is that food? Is that exercise? For me, when Harijivan and Guru Joss and I are, you know, traveling and, and Santosh, we all have our different things. I need exercise. I actually can go without sleep, but I need to sweat. I'm, I'm very pitta. I need sweat. So like, we hit the hotel. I go exercise. Guru Joss goes and eats. And Harijivan even sleeps that's like always the you know what I mean she like the but you got to know what the thing is that's going to give you the energy to move to keep going so just you know pay attention what are the things you need make sure you have them make sure you're taking care of yourself make sure you're paying attention because that will just help this go we'll just have the best time ever and if the energy gets very aerodynamic in the group then uh, all sorts of miracles will start to happen so it's your job to participate in that life is a constant flow of love the words of Yogi Bhajan it only takes your participation. participation. So participate. Get to know each other. Participate. Help each other. Participate. Participate. And participate, you know, with a, where this is, people notice when we're here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? People notice. And so that's just part of the thing because we're holding a, a, a very kind of divine imprint um, because of the, the, really because of the way that the mantra and the, and the, the power of the prana that's moving through us. Um, it's just noticeable. <laughs>